What's up everybody, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a time lapse from this to this, removing the continuous lighting from our foreground. In this video tutorial, we'll use LR Time Lapse, Lightroom, Photoshop CC, and Adobe Bridge CC. So let's just jump right into it. What I have here is a time lapse sequence I already did some basic edits to in Lightroom. Now this is a cool rock formation I found at Alabama Hills, California that I lit up with LED light, which I'll link below. Now, if you get into more advanced time lapses, there might be a time when you want to remove something from your image and you need to apply it to the whole sequence. And this is basically what we're going to do today by getting rid of that light source that's in the center of my pictures. So let's get started by exporting our images that are ready for a time lapse. Go to File Export and choose the LR Time Lapse option you have available, like 1080p or 4K. Next, you just want to choose your destination folder. And to save some time, I already have a folder with my images in it. Now you want to open up Adobe Bridge and locate the folder that you saved your images in. Select the first image in the time lapse sequence and then open it in Photoshop. If the Actions window is not already open, then go to the drop down menu titled Window and select Actions. Now you may have some actions in there already or you might have nothing at all. I'm going to create a new action under a folder I named Set1. So you could create a folder like I have, or just place it in an action folder that is already existing on your computer. Now I already did a test, and I'm gonna just delete that action so I can make a new one. Select the Create New Action button and make a name for it. I'm gonna name mine Remove Light. And then next you wanna hit Record. Now this action is live and it's recording everything we do to this photo. So I want to get rid of this light source in my LED, and there's a few different ways I could do this. I think I'm going to use the patch tool to select the areas I want to get rid of just to kind of make my life a little easier since they're kind of odd shapes. And uh, my patch tool is set to normal, and the source is on destination. So basically where I drag the selected area, it will replace that source area with that new destination area, which in my case is pretty much everything's black, so that makes life a lot easier. Another option to get, you know, instead of cloning, I could also sample the black in the foreground and then paint over those uh, lighted bushes. But there's, you know, the great thing about Photoshop is there's so many different ways to achieve the same results. Uh, it's just kind of personal preference and trial and error. Now, while we're in here, I'm going to clean up some of these hot pixels as well. And the great thing is with this, uh, by recording an action, you could use this technique to remove dust spots that might be in your time lapse. So it's not limited to just night photography. You could use this in many ways. I'm also going to burn the edges and darken them. They're a little bit overexposed and noisy, so we could make them darker so they match the rest of the black that's in the center of the picture. I think I might dodge the highlights as well on the rock just to kind of make it pop a little bit more. And once I'm satisfied or you're satisfied with your edit, go to File save and then close your image the action is still recording at this moment so everything you do including the saving and closing is actually getting recorded as well now to stop this action we just have to click on window actions and then you'll see the stop button choose that you can see all the steps we've done outlined within the action we created next we want to minimize photoshop and go back to adobe bridge the first image has all our new edits applied to it, and now we want to do those uh, edits to all the remaining images in Bridge. Select all those images, and then click on Tools, Photoshop, Batch. At the top left dialog box where it says Play, you can find the folder set that we're going to use, and then you want to do the drop down menu and find the action that we created. Make sure the destination is on Save and Close. Click OK and then let Photoshop Bridge do its thing. And this is going to take some time depending on the number of photos you have and the size of those photos. So, you know, just give it a few minutes. You might want to you know, walk away for 15 and then come back and check on it. Once it's done, we can scroll through all the images and see that our edit has been applied to everything and we are ready to make a video. So open up LR time lapse. And since we already edited these images, you don't need to um, basically bring them into LR time lapse like you normally would. We actually just need to export a video. So go to File, Render Video, 
and then search for the folder that our fixed images are in. Choose render video and uh, LR time lapse is going to do its thing and create our new video which should have the continuous lighting removed from our foreground plus the additional tweaks that we did to it in Photoshop. And for those of you that don't have LR time lapse, uh, in the future I'm going to make a video of how you can create a time lapse video using just Lightroom and Photoshop. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching. Okay guys, so thanks again for watching and my next video I'm going to be releasing is about the CamiSafe A5 3-axis handheld gimbal stabilizer that's compatible with your Hero 5, 4, 3 Plus, and 3 GoPro. So stay tuned for that. Catch you guys later. Bye.